Hello. We're going to start by taking off the full embroidery cover, the top thread needles. You'll just cut the thread, take out the four bolts off the front. If you want to see how to do that, um, go to the end of the video where I put it back on. To start the actual process of changing the reciprocator, we're going to take off these three metal plates. Um, the arrows will point to them here in a second. You see me taking off and sliding that one to the side. And then you just take off the bottom plate. Um, make sure to put all your screws somewhere you can easily find them and get to them at the end. Not fun to lose those. You will use a 2mm Allen key to open up the bottom bolt. Once you loosen that, it's kind of hard at first, once you loosen it, you'll be able to slide the pole up. Uh, normally you can use a 1.5mm Allen key in one of the oil holes in order to slide the pole up easier. The pole is slippery, so doing it with your fingers isn't always an option. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and slide it up. You're going to pull off that. You can either leave the um, arm attached or not. It doesn't matter. It's easy enough to put back in. So you'll take that out, and then you'll take the reciprocator out. Oh. Okay. Wipe it off. That one was super greasy and dirty. Um, your hands are going to get very greasy doing this. All right, once you have it down, you're going to go ahead and take off that top screw. Then you're going to flip it to the side. Just unscrew the bottom screw closest to that nub. Uh, this will allow you to um, push that forward in order for the reciprocator to come out of its housing easier. Uh, I had to use pliers because it was still pretty tight, um, but you should just be able to push it or use, uh, like I did, open it up a little bit, and that just allows the reciprocator to come out. When you're opening it, be careful that the spring and the washer don't shoot out from the bottom, because uh, that will happen to you. From here, you're going to push out that inner housing, and you can either use what I did, just be gentle, you don't want to strip it or um, leave teeth marks on it, but it is in there pretty tight, so you kind of have to pull it out. Once you get that out, just put it to the side, and then we can pull the reciprocator out. Uh, again, be mindful of that bottom spring and washer so they don't just come shooting out. Uh, then you're going to put the new one in. Once you get the new one in, you're going to want to... This is already the new one. I lost the clip of me taking out the old one, but I put the new one in pretty quick. You can leave the spring and the washer in there when you do it, and then you're going to want to push this back so it doesn't move on you. And then you're going to want to slide that uh, cylinder back in. Uh, it does take some wiggling and some play, so don't be worried about that. You're just going to have to keep moving the reciprocator till it slides in, pushing the washer and the spring at the bottom a little bit in order for it to uh, easily go in. So you can watch me on the struggle bus here. Once I finally get it in, you're going to go ahead and put the top screw back in, as well as the um, side screw there. I always start with that one. Um, the screws are super small, so uh, it is kind of finicky to put them in, but you should be able to do it fairly easily. And 
then we'll go to the top one and not over tighten but definitely make sure it's snug oh on the top sheath there's like a, a little groove in that cylinder make sure that's lined up with the screw uh, it should be pretty self-explanatory when you see it and sorry for the uh, camera's autofocus is a little rough sometimes all right now to reassemble it all You just put it back in the way you took it out. So you start by putting the reciprocator in first and then the bottom part. Um, and then you line up all the pads in that thick washer. Um, when you're pushing the pole back down through them, you will have to play with it a little bit, wiggle it around. And then you just reassemble the entire machine. It doesn't take too long. This should take about 30 minutes. Uh, if it's your first one, it'll take about an hour probably, uh, just because you're getting familiar with it. But it is a fairly straightforward and easy process. Do note when you are putting this back together from this section, you will have to line it up with the correct needle number to the correct head. Um, so we chose needle nine. I recommend using a middle needle. We learned it was just easier to line it up with the middle ones than it is if it's at the edge. If it's like a one or two, I would just put it anywhere between five and 11. Um, it's just much easier. And if you don't know how to take this apart, go ahead and watch this part and just do it in reverse. Um, as I uh, assemble it back together. Um, thanks for watching. Please ask any questions if you have any. Uh, this is like the fifth one I've had to change now, so hopefully we won't have to change anymore. This was a used piece of equipment we got, so it was already damaged. Um, but thank you for watching. Appreciate it.